friends. Today we are going to create a derpy doodle of a squirrel. All you need is a piece of paper and a pencil. Okay, let's start with art. So we're going to start today um, with our little squirrel's face. Now I made it a little smaller on my paper than I normally draw because squirrels are smaller, but you could draw this just as big as you'd want. It could be a zoomed in picture of a squirrel. I'm just going to kind of stick to this size for this size paper. So um, we're going to do the face, which is kind of like a rounded sort of triangle. And what I mean by that is it kind of has three sides, but they're rounded corners instead of uh, pointy corners. And then some little ears for our squirrel, like a little curved lines. Remember, it doesn't have to be perfect because this is a derpy doodle. So even if it's a little bit um, lopsided or not exactly the same, that's okay because that makes it silly and more derpy. Now we're going to do our eyes. So I'm going to do that C shape that's facing down twice to kind of make like an eyebrow, a little dot in there. And then I'm going to make the other eye a circle with a little dot up here. Those are pretty derpy. Now I'm going to make the nose kind of a rounded rectangle. I'm going to color it in and a little line down, a couple of lines down to show that little mouth underneath. Next we're going to just do the body, kind of an oval shape. So we're going to just draw a curved line down, curve around, and another curved line back up. And we're going to draw the arms as if they are holding an acorn. So we're just going to put a curved line here and another one right there. And we're going to do the same thing on this side. We're going to leave some space in the middle for our acorn. Curved line here, another curved line there. And then we'll put our acorn there as though the squirrel is holding it. So an acorn is kind of similar in shape to the face of the squirrel, kind of a rounded kind of triangle, kind of like that. And then the cap of the acorn, we can put a curved line to show that, maybe some lines for some texture, a little stem. Okay, there's our little acorn. Now we're gonna add our squirrel's feet, line down, four little circles for the toes, and another line down. We'll do that over here, line down, four little circles for the toes and another line down. Remember, if um, you ever need to pause the video, you can do that and then jump right back in with us. That's what's nice about um, watching these videos. You can do it at your own pace. So the squirrel's tail, right, is big and curly on the end, sort of. So we're gonna start to draw the tail right here, actually, up um, near the squirrel's head. And we're going to do kind of a, a line that goes up, curves, okay, and then we're going to curve back in towards the squirrel, come down, and then curl, curve back in towards the body. It's like a big, almost like a question mark, uh, opposite question mark, facing the opposite way. Okay. So now this squirrel is on a tree branch and we practiced this with a couple other doodles but we're going to um, make this one a little bit different. So we're going to make a diagonal line right around here and it's going to come out over here as well. And then we're going to do another diagonal line to show the bottom of the tree branch but also like a little piece coming here, a small little branch breaking off. So I did like the line of the big branch here and then a diagonal going this way, a small line here, we're going to go back here like this towards the big branch and continue my diagonal line all the way off. Now you could just make your branch not have any little branches sticking off, that's fine. We're going to add a little texture to this, we're just going to put a few lines in and then we're also going to put a line or two with a swirl like that in maybe different directions just to show a little bit of some wood texture. 
we're going to put another big branch behind the squirrel over here. So I'm going to draw a diagonal line up, another line going in the opposite direction maybe, small line, another line down. This is going to be a small branch and then my diagonal is going to continue off the page. I'm going to get another diagonal started down here, a little line going out, line going up, going back, continuing up my diagonal. I'm going to put another little branch right here, out, up, back, and diagonal, just like that. And we're going to add some texture to this branch as well to make it look like a very rough maybe surface, the bark of the tree. And we're going to put a little line here and draw a leaf shape, which is just a curve to a point, curved and then meet the two lines together, put a line in the middle. Again, we'll put a little line there, a little twig with a leaf coming off, curve line like that, another curved line till they meet, and a line in the middle. And there is our derpy squirrel on a tree branch holding an acorn. Remember, with art, you just have to start.